Welcome everyone to this exciting interview segment. Today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Maurice Johnson, lead of the Tubi movie Killer Beat. Maurice takes on the role of Mr. Tank. Join us as we delve into Maurice's insights into his character and the challenges of filming this movie. Thank you for being here, Maurice. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about your character in Killer Beat? Yes, um, I am Maurice Johnson. Um, I am uh, talking to you from Atlanta, Georgia right now, where we filmed The Killer Beat. And I am Mr. Tank. So I am the um, executive record producer. In my backstory, I actually was a prize fighter. I actually was a boxer. So if you see in my in the backdrop of my office, uh, you'll see boxing gloves and, you know, all of the dignitaries that I knew. But yes, I'm actually a um, I'm basically like a, a record executive you know, for a very large uh, company. Okay. And what initially attracted you to your role in Killer Beat? Well, I loved um, the being a young artist, um, a young hip hop artist, a story about a young hip hop artist, you know, trying to grow and, and find this, you know, get, get the one chance and she grew viral. And so I thought it just definitely spoke to present day because everybody's t into TikTok, they're into hip hop and also just a young artist. I wanted to definitely, um, you know, hone into those, you know, in into that role, uh, just like uh, a record exec would. So of course I use some people like Shook Knight or um, P Diddy to actually gain some of my backstory and, and, and uh, give me, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, an impetus, you know, for, you know, this character. Great. And uh, what do you think makes this movie special and captivating? Wow. Um, what makes this special? We use every single um, from Lady Bars. Um, and also, you know, the um, at the beginning of the film, there is a person that, that dies. I'm not going to say exactly what his name is, but they're very good rappers. And this is original music that they're actually rapping. So this is them performing. This is not them lip syncing. So you're not going to see that in many other films. So it is amazing. And also there is a very catchy uh, song and um, the sassy strut, the dance is going viral too. So this is a dance that is associated with this song. And so it's just very catchy, uh, very um, gritty and it's hip hop. It's 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 uh, something that the whole family can actually watch. So my nieces watched it on the premiere day with me. And so I was happy that I finally had a movie that my nieces could actually watch with me. <laughs> so it's not a lot of cursing. It's not a lot of all of that stuff there. So the whole family can watch. So someone's grandmother can watch this as well as as, as the kids. The entire family can actually watch this. Great. And uh, what do you hope audiences uh, take away from watching Clear Beat? Well, I hope this gives inspiration to young artists. And so I think it's the level of, um, you know, she won, you know, in the end, you know, with, you know, with her music and everything. But then also, it, of course, this is a thriller. So someone didn't get what they wanted and then they went after the person that had these things. So, um, you know, definitely I think you need to guard, you know, your heart, guard your talents, you know, um, and, and make sure that you're constantly aware of your surroundings in a business you know, setting and also just your personal settings too, because you never know. Some of the people that are calling themselves friends or close confidants maybe be after you. So you have to watch sometimes. Sometimes the the biggest uh, nemesis is right there next to you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what was it like working with the rest of the cast on set? The cast is amazing. Uh, so we have some very young artists like the lead uh, that is amazing. She came in, so she was a great actor and then she turned into a great rapper, then also a great, you know, uh, dancer as well. So, you know, doing the, you know, dances and everything. So she's very chore um, choreographed. Um, she was great with that. Um, everybody played their part, you know, so the other record execs, the person that plays my assistant, um, the, uh, my A&R, he does an amazing job. Uh, we had another person that actually is a personality, B. Simone, that came in. And so it was very, probably very easy for her to play, you know, her role. So she brought a different, you know, gravitas, you know, to the role. So everybody just brought their A game. And also a tidbit about this movie. This was the first movie that was shot, uh, by a lot of us right after the strike ended. 
So the strike ended and then we shot this, like, if I'm not mistaken, maybe another week or two afterwards. And so this was one of the first, first films. So everybody was excited to get back, you know, to work and, you know, from crew to, you know, cast members as well. And the director, Boogie, Boogie's amazing. Uh, Boogie Vision, uh, <laughs> Boogie Pinkman is what everybody calls him. But uh, he did an amazing job. Of course, he comes from very large, big budget films. And so to be entrusted him with this uh, film. And so he brought things out of me as an actor that other directors hadn't brought. You know, out of me, normally I'm able to go in, I audition and hey, just do it like you did in an audition. And this was different. And we talked through the scenes and we got into the scenes and he gave us a feel for the film because I think a lot of us made different choices as actors that was a little bit more comedic or a little bit more lighthearted. And when those times needed to be, we brought it, we brought it down. He said, no, we need to, this is, this is the mood for it. And he would play some music and I'm not going to tell any more of those stories. That's going to be an acting class, but <laughs> he would play some, he would play something for us that get, that gave us exactly what we needed for that, for that, you know, right. the mood for that, um, for that piece. Great. And then so what... every scene had a different, had a different feel and a different vibe. Great. And uh, what can you tease about your character journey? <laughs> <laughs> My character's journey. Um, Mr. Tank, don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to love his smile. You're going to love his charisma. And he's very inviting. But on the flip side, uh, he can definitely have a very sinister side. Great. And what was your favorite scene? Or moment while filming a killer beat, if you can say mm, favorite scene, favorite scene. I think it's inside of my office. I, uh, as an actor, um, I I have this ritual that I go into my office or whatever room that I'm actually performing in, and I actually touch everything. I touch the walls, I touch the desk, I sit in the chair, you know. So I became one with that set, and that set was done amazingly. So shout out to the set, you know, designers and the set dressers, you know, because it looked very much like a record exec's office and I became at home in that office and so my best scenes I think was inside of that office. Great so the last question can you tease us something about your next projects? <laughs> next projects so I have some very different projects so I have um, a uh, faith-based film called God's Not Dead I think it's guys and I did five. And um, so we actually shot that down in South Carolina, which is, um, you know, one state over from where we are. And um, I have another uh, really, really good movie that um, is called, um, is called um, What Lies Under the Tree. It's on Tubi right now. And it is taken off. It has skyrocketed, you know, over the last couple of weeks. So those two are, are definitely, you know, you know, films that are definitely skyrocketing right now. And then Jones Plantation, um, it's on, I think it's on Amazon Prime and also Tubi. So definitely check that out. So uh, Jones Plantation, uh, because of the election, we've seen an uptick in Jones Plantation. So it has skyrocketed as well. So I have three very good films that are uh, getting a lot of traction right now. We will talk that. Totally different characters. Great. <laughs> so make sure to watch the movie Killer Beat on Tubi. Yes. To, and it's a to be original. Great. And uh, thank you, Maurice, to join us. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. And thank Great you all for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.